you are looking for a strong, affordable and defendable base on online raids, but you also like to be protected in offline raids, you are playing with a small or medium group. Do you think funnel and mini china walls are the way to go on raid defenses? And you also like a big open core with separated bunkers? Let me introduce you to the Everest. Before we start, I wanted to say thank you for your support and 7k subs, I really appreciate it. And thanks for all your feedback, I'm constantly trying to improve my bases and my videos. If you like my videos, I would be happy if you hit the subscribe button. And now let's get into the base tour. We got some disconnectable bunker teases here. You open them by placing this roof like this. Inside we got extra space for a battery. To disconnect the TC you have to place a foundation and a roof right here. That can be really useful when you get raided, otherwise you can't replace the main TC. But it's up to you, you can build any kind of external TC you like. Going into the compound we got some nice peaks on the left and right which can be used if you have to retake it. The compound is separated by these chain links, which are also covered by turrets. Here we got bedrooms, so you have quick respawns if needed and some more peaks. Now we enter the funnel wall, which is covered by shotgun traps and flame turrets on each side. Breaching this part will be hard for raiders in an online raid. It is also covered from multiple turret spots. Inside the funnel wall are three bedrooms on each side, so we got nine of them in total. There are also peaks, so you can stop raiders going through the funnel wall. If you don't need nine bedrooms there, you can also use the space for drop boxes or industrial stuff. There are also outside roof peaks into the compound on every side. We got three entrances with early bunkers to make a rate more expensive at wipe day. There is space for three large boxes and it's so strong to have bunkers already at the very beginning of the wipe. As you can see there is no gap so they are fully hidden. Jumping up here we go to the core on the second layer. We got enough space for batteries, some beds and lockers and two loot rooms. Down here we got the starter core. There is enough space for as many bags as you need, a workbench, a repair bench, electric furnaces and loot storage. I would always recommend to use these electric furnaces at the beginning, since you don't even need wood to smelt your stuff. There are three jump ups leading into the open core for better mobility. We got bedrooms with lockers and open core peaks with hidden loot. 
Raiders most likely miss these boxes since they can't even see them. The open core got tons of space for your loot. Each loot room got six large boxes. There are ramp peaks which are covering the open core with turrets. The raiders need at least 20 HVs to destroy one of these ramp turrets. You can just test it if you don't believe me. But I think this is actually crazy and it slows down the raid a lot. There is also space for three electric furnaces and drop boxes. Behind these armor doors we have three bunkers in total. As you can see, they are kinda hidden and unsplashable. You can fit four large boxes into one bunker. Up here we got a vending machine for extra space. Maybe rockets and ceiling stuff for raid defense. And also more room for batteries, beds and lockers. There are connections to the white gift shooting floor on three sides which has also given you mobility to move around quickly. Here we got these kind of white peaks. And if you sit behind the wall like this, you are even harder to hit since you are not exposing yourself as much. These peaks at the triangle are strong because it's hard to see you from below. Here is even more space for beds and more peaks so you can insta respawn and defend. You can even aim right below, close inside the shiner wall. Behind this door we got a nice peak for wide and close angles, while you are being covered by this roof. You can perfectly aim inside the compound without exposing yourself to the raid base for example. If you use the peak like this, it's perfect to take heli as well. Next are these classic roof peaks, which I mostly like for the wide angles. They are combined with some nice roof peaks to retake your roof in top down raids and some jump ups to get on your roof. There is enough space for windmills, turrets, slam sites and vending machines to keep your business going. These mountain roof peaks give you some sneaky angles on each side which raiders won't expect. Going a bit higher up the roof, you get perfect wide angles all around. Here we also got some classic roof peaks. I'd suggest to place a ramp here, so it's easier to shoot from the roof. That's it with the tour, so now I'll show you how to build the space. As you might have already noticed, the footprint is a simple egg. And now we start building the second layer.
Now we finish the footprint and build the multi TEC. If you would like to build the honeycomb first, you can also do that, even before you build the multi TEC. Now you build one triangle and go out four squares. Then you finish it with a triangle. Then you go back with triangles. Now you go out three squares and then with a triangle again. Now you go back with triangles again and finish the footprint. Now we build the external pieces. Build a wall here and not a door frame. Now we build the bunker. You build a wall on the left and the right and then you place the free end foundation. The wall has to be at 77% stable, so the bunker will actually work. You can close the gap with this frame. Now we build the honeycomb on first and second layer. Next step is building the entrance and the early bunker. You can close the gaps with this frame.
always make sure that the bunker is still working. Next step is building the open core. Now we build the open core bunkers. Always make sure that the bunker is still working.
Now it's time to finish the white gap footprint. Now we build the funnel wall and the mini china wall. Next step is building up the frames and the shooting floor.
Now we build the roof. The last step is building the gatehouses, the bathhouses and the compound. And now I'll show you windmill, turret and battery placement. 